Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and I'm in today's tutorial on natural language processing with JavaScript. You're working with n-grams. So what is an n-gram? So an n-gram is only used for predicting the next item in a sequence, right? Following a particular order, which is the n-1 order, which is just like the Markov's model or chain model. So the usefulness is that it can be used for NLP, can be used for computational lingu linguistics, sequence analysis, which is something like you have something like this, right? And there's a DNA. This is a DNA and this is for protein, right? If you want to analyze this particular stuff, the sequence, you can actually use n-grams to do that. And it's one way to use it in bioinformatics. So now let's see how to do that in JavaScript, right? So to do that, we already need this particular stuff here. And then we can start. So let's create a simple example. So var one, and then here I'm going to create my stealth NLP object or function. And here I'm going to supply whatever test I want to do. So let's use something very basic, right? So this or let's call it as the car is behind the garage right so that is something that i have so i have set this particular stuff if i want to analyze this particular stuff it is quite easy to do so i'm just going to go with console dot log then docs dot n grams right so if i go with dot n grams now i can do most of the things i want to do so I can convert it to unigram that is only one. So dot unigram unigrams and then the particular data. So let's call it as data. Take the most generic form. So if I log this out one out, it's going to print the value for me. Which is this right? So it has given us five different stuff. So we have normal there with a count of two, right? And then the size. So this is simple unigram. So there. So that's why the size here is this size is depicting the particular kind of n gram. So this is one, right? So the garage behind car is right, perfect. So in case I want a bigram, I'm also the same thing here. Wait, let me let's comment the first one out. So if I want a bigram, that is two, right? Notice that this place is the size is one. So if I want a bigram, let's go with bigrams, and then it's going to print perfectly for us as a bigram. Perfect. So if you check it, you see that the garage, right, behind the is car, is behind the car, so all of this, and the size is 2, so which is very interesting. So it's able to do a lot of things with this particular stuff. So if I want in, in trigram, I can also do the same stuff. Then let's comment this one out. Then let's call this as trigram. So try gram and then it's going to work and give us in threes, right? The in three pairs, in pairs of three. That is the main idea. So it's dividing them based in pairs of three. So this is it. So we have behind the garage. So these are three different ways. These are three different ways. And then the size here is three. Okay, now let's see another example with the DNA analysis, right? So I'm going to call it as var dot two. Then I'm going to give it an NLP. Then here I'm going to paste this particular DNA protein analysis here that we have right so perfect so this is the stuff that we are working with so I think the best way is to go this right so we have spaces here okay perfect so if I want to analyze this particular stuff and actually do it it's just like how we're doing in protein analysis so if I run it it's going to give us our result which is this okay this is the old one so let me save this Let's run it. Perfect. It's giving us three. And I said that it's to analyze it. So this is cysteine, glucine, and leucine, right? These are proteins. And it's being to analyze it perfectly for us. So you can use it to do a lot of sequencing, which is a simple idea of how to work with protein sequences basically with this engram. Okay, so thank you for watching. So if you have any question or contribution, you can just put it in the comment section so that everybody can benefit. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.